Yes, I can. I can see it now. It's probably no. Okay. <gasps> what? Crouch. Really? Miss Yum. Oh my God, no! That's impossible. That's a mistake. You've seen how clean the kitchen is. I have a cockroach in my soup, and I have one in my noodles. There are cockroaches in everyone's food. Your noodles, sir. This is where your noodles belong. Is this why you came here no. to insult me? No, no, not at all. I came here with a business deal. Listen, my name is Jason. I'm a manager at the Around the World restaurant chain, and we're opening next door in a few days. And we're scared that uh, the stink of your noodle shop will scare the customers away. But we have an offer for you. We're ready to buy this dump. Look here. Look. <laughs> That's half. Even third of what this place is worth. Do you have a better offer? <laughs> you know what? This place was built by my father when I was a little girl. Many generations of my family have put their hearts into it. It's not for sale. Okay, you ask for it. Soon, neither you nor this restaurant or the stinky noodles are gonna be here. I promise you. What do you want? I've already told you, I'm not So gonna this the is the owner of the restaurant, Miss Young. Meet, this is Megan Kroll. She's an inspector from the Department of Health. And uh, she'll be um, inspecting if you and your kitchen is up to standards. But we've had an inspection recently and we got a certificate. Really? No, no, Miss Young. I called the inspector. You see, uh, I have a very important investor coming in my restaurant to check out on it. And I can't let him smell the stench that is coming from your kitchen. Obviously, it's the rotten vegetables or the smell of these, these, um, these workers. I mean, I'm, I don't believe in stereotypes. I don't believe in stereotypes, but we all know in what conditions you and your people live in, with all respect. So, uh, Megan Kroll, I'll be expecting that you will be fair and objective. Don't worry, Mr. Reeves. It's just a standard stuff. And you, Miss Young, you have nothing to fear if you have recently passed an inspection. Excuse me. Fresh food is delivered every morning, and all employees undergo medical examination every six months. We thoroughly wash all products and carry out the necessary heat processing. I can assure you we've never had any complaints or issues with food poisonings. People love this place. Mm-hmm. Well, Miss Yam, I've checked out your kitchen and dining room and I must say that I have no complaints. So just show me your staff's medical records and I will confirm that your restaurant has no problems. Sure, just a moment. Oh, and uh, may I have a bowl of noodles with vegetables after that, please? Of course, Mrs. Crow. Time for plan B. This restaurant has no problems with hygiene. Uh, so the reason uh, for the unpleasant smell in your restaurant is... Or you uh, the order. Oh, thank you. Nice thank to you. Meet you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can, I can see it now. The smell definitely come from... <gasps> what? Cockroach! Oh my god, no! I That's... have a cockroach in my soup! What? Oh, no. I have one in my noodles! So how do you explain this, huh? No, no, ladies! Oh my god, Miss Young, there are cockroaches in everyone's food. That's I, I disgusting. I'm oh. so sorry, no. but I, I have to find you and close the place until it has been disinfected. Oh Maybe no, there is another that's way. A I mean, I'm so, I'm so... Miss Young, she. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you don't pay the fine and get rid of this awful cockroaches, I will have to close this restaurant. I'm, I'm so. 
so sorry. <laughs> Megan, I'm so sorry. It's it's terrible. Truly terrible. <sighs> hey, don't look at me. What could I have done? Cockroaches, wow. Who do we got here? So what? Came to see, uh, see what the real food is? Um, Mr. Reeves, the inspector issued a very big fine, and, um, I don't have that kind of money right now. So, um, if your offer is still valid, I agree. But I have only one condition. You would hire me. I know a lot. I am a hardworking person. And I need a job for a living. I'll take any position, please. Otherwise, I'm not selling the restaurant. Mm. Mm. OK. Just because I'm nice. You're going to be the janitor's assistant. If you agree, then we can set the deal and uh, you can start tomorrow. Hmm? Okay, deal. Deal. But I must warn you, Miss Young. Marcus Reeves is gonna be here tomorrow. He's our main, main investor. Please, don't catch his eye and spoil his appetite. Do you copy? Of course. Great. Then I'll expecting you here tomorrow. My lawyer's gonna finish the paperwork and, uh... Come here at seven. Six. Look at this. Nice. This is the future of the restaurant business. I like nice. I told you that. I told you. Jason, how many times have I told you? Huh? Don't call me father. Don't call me dad when we're working, okay? We're talking business, all right? Right, right, right. Mr. Reeves, please take a seat. So, I've managed to set the deal that I was telling you about. You remember the restaurant business? I bought it. I bought the restaurant. So now we can place a karaoke in that room, yeah? We still need some, um, need some investments to buy all the electronics, but still, a karaoke room. Could you imagine Jason, that? Jason, first of all, I came here to eat and not to sing, all right? Just bring me a steak and we'll talk about the karaoke later, all right? The steak is on the way. Steak is out. Saya, would you like to try this delicious steak? <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, where's the freaking knife? Ugh, no city. Give me a second. Don't need that. What's up, Jason? What's wrong? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so uh, please stop. Do you remember the, the, the Miss Young I told you about? Yeah, I, I bought the restaurant from her. And now she works as a janitor here. I think, I think she seeks the revenge. The revenge. She definitely seeks the revenge, Dad. Revenge? Yes, that's my dish, Mr. Reeves. Except it's not a revenge. I switched the dishes so you could appreciate what Mr. Jason Reeves is depriving my customers of. He called the Department of Health and planted cockroaches around my cockroaches? kitchen. Cockroaches? Are you kidding me? And then made me work for pennies. 
even though I've been developing and promoting Asian cuisine for years. Son, is this true? Of course it's not. Listen, that restaurant was a disaster. Dirty dishes, terrible workers, the, the, the place was a mess. People were actually sick from eating those noodles. That's why I told you to stop, Dad. I am, I am telling you the truth, okay? I'm telling you the truth, Father. Well, that's strange. Because these noodles, these noodles, this is the most delicious meal I've had in such a long time. What did you put in the sauce? It's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> um, thank you. This is the sauce of Laoganma beans. Um, I hope it wasn't too spicy, though. Too spicy? Are you kidding me? It's amazing. It hit the spot. I haven't had an amazing dish like this in forever. I can't even remember. I can't deprive you of, of serving this kind of amazing food to other people. I just can't do it. But you've already sold your restaurant. You sold it to me. There's not going to be any stupid around the world here. But instead, a restaurant of your unique Asian cuisine. <laughs> Would you like to be the, the head chef? Oh, oh of course. Great. Oh my God, of course, Great. Mr. Reeves. Thank you very much. No, no, I'd love you. to. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. <laughs> but what about me? I, I bought this restaurant. You told me to buy the restaurant, I bought the restaurant. I said the deal. Hmm? So, uh, what about me? I'm gonna be running this place. Nah, no, Jason, you're not gonna be running the place. But there is a job for you. A great job. As the janitor. The janitor? And listen, you know, maybe at least to learn to respect an honest day's work and respect the work of other people and their culture. And if I find any dirt anywhere, on the floor, in the kitchen, or any cockroaches in the food, then you know what? Consider yourself not my son anymore and you can forget about your hands. So, miss, would you like to take a look around your new workplace? Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks. After you. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit 2 million subscribers and now we really need your help. Like, share this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and see ya!